Joe Zekas from Yoshikaga.com. I'm in Elmhurst in an area of beautiful homes, and I've just met up with Maria Grasick from Coldwell Bankers Grasick McKinney Group. We're at 570 Prospect this morning, one block off the Illinois Prairie Path in an outstanding location in the Lincoln School area. Many similar new homes in this location and a nice blend of charming old as well. The house we're in front of this morning is a greater than 4,000 square foot, 2005 built, every amenity you could possibly imagine. It's really a lifestyle, it's not just a home. Maria, my first thought when I walked in here was uh, California or Santa Fe rather than western suburbs. I feel the same way. The, the layout of the house with the proximity to the resort-like yard definitely um, gives you that feel. True center entry, we have a living room on our right and dining room on the left. Fireplace in the living room, it's one of four in the house. Very rare to see. There's actually a fifth outside, which you'll see when we step out to the, the yard. Uh, the foyer has Brazilian cherry with a multi-slate inlay. Real unusual floor. The kitchen layout is unusual for Elmhurst new construction. It's in the center of the house with a view of the yard, generous eating area off the kitchen. You have an island in the kitchen as well as a peninsula, so there's an enormous amount of counter space. In the kitchen we have a six burner wolf range with double oven, sub-zero refrigerator, Bosch dishwasher, there's a wine fridge, a butler area with an ice maker, just every amenity you would want. The homeowner will be the one entering through the three car garage and stepping into the generous mudroom that has five lockers, storage on top, immediate access to the first floor full bath. That bath also connects to the library, which is very convenient if you need an in-law arrangement down the road, you have a full bath right there. In the 17 years that I've been selling real estate in Elmhurst, I have never had the privilege of marketing a home with a yard like this. Uh, it's truly a resort. We have a pergola covering an eating area with a full outdoor kitchen. There's two burners, there's a grill, there's a refrigerator, a warming drawer. You step down into the patio area where you have an amazing 30 by 15 foot pool. Starts at three feet at one end and it goes all the way down to about five and a half. Salt water pool, so easy maintenance, low cost to run that pool. There's also an automatic cover on it for safety. We have an outdoor gas fire pit, so whenever you want to burn a fire, just turn it on. When you're done, turn it off. There's no cleanup. I think one of the best features out here, being a pool homeowner myself, is there's an outdoor bathroom. So your guests don't need to go in and out of your house. Next to the pool, conveniently located, there's a jacuzzi. The owner also did a fantastic job of making a corner lot very private. Walking through the upstairs, you can see there are five bedrooms each with its own private bath. There's hardwood floors throughout. There's volume ceilings in every bedroom. The master sun sits at the south end of the house overlooking the resort-like yard. It's a true retreat when you walk in through the double door entrance. You see the volume tray ceiling with rope lighting. One of four fireplaces. The beautiful master bath with his and hers vanities as well as a steam shower and a soaking tub. And then we also have a generous master closet with a custom closet system. Every closet in this house, by the way, has a system similar. There's a large second floor laundry with generous space for hanging if you like to hang your laundry to dry. And there's also a planning desk in there. Great place to sit and do some work while you're switching your loads. There's a bonus area upstairs near the laundry, currently used as a family room, second family room with a homework area could also easily be converted into a six bedroom. There is a full closet off this room. We just wrapped up the first and second floor of this house and that was over 4,000 square feet. We have an additional nearly 2,000 square feet in the basement. The entertaining possibilities don't stop when you get down here. Billiards area, media room, theater area. There's a workout area. Owner was real smart. He roughed in all the plumbing behind the wall when we first come down the stairs. And it's all set up if someone wants to add a bar. There is arguably the sixth or seventh bedroom and a full bath.